Good afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're in. It's Jess from Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're having a look at Sequel 2 by Beat Skills. Um, it is a drum machine sampler um, with a 32 step sequencer. We have a lot of different samples and drum loops and patterns to choose from, and we're going to dive right in in a second. Um, so if you're interested in deals like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell, and we'll see you soon. Okay, so we're gonna have a quick look at SQL. So if we press the play button here, we can hear the pattern that's currently loaded. And we can see the sequence it's playing by pressing the sequence button. Um, we can see it's currently 32. We could make that eight if we wanted to, or 16. So you can fully adjust how many uh, sort of steps you want in the sequencer. You can individually adjust the different attributes of like each kind of sample that's loaded into the kit. And you can also adjust it here. So you can adjust sort of the, the pitch of it, you can pan it, lease volume, uh, high cut, low cut filters. You can actually reverse the sample. So if we pick this one um, and we go here. Um, we're going to solo it and go back and we're actually going to make it go a bit longer so we can Can we reverse it? So we can totally warp it. So we can play around with that. Uh, we can also load a whole bunch of different samples uh, in from these. Um, so there we go. Again, we can fully adjust how long this is. Uh, if we go down here, we can actually select some of them actually have fills. So we can do that as well. If we take it off record mode, we can drop in the MIDI like so. Oops. And now we have oops. we have created a drum beat that we can just drop right into our doll. Simple as. Um, so yeah, other features. I mean, we can individually edit each one. So you can individually edit each sample uh, to your desire. There's also a vintage and drive to make it sound, well, more vintage, <laughs> like so. Uh, we'll have a listen to a few more. So if we go into G's back, let's pick number 17. Yeah, so we can also load in your own samples um, yeah, very simple to use and plenty of variety, as you can hear. <laughs> I 
also adjust it even further to make it sound. Slow right down. It will also sync to your DAW tempo as well. You can change the length of the notes though if you really wanted to. I wouldn't recommend 1 64ths. Um, So, plenty of ways to customize these drum loops, um, down to a T completely. So, there we go. There we have it. So that was a quick overview of SQL 2. I hope it was helpful, and yeah, see you next time.